Hey, Daywalkers and fellow travelers tonight, we have some more mail to go through, and this is from our friends at Paper Heroes. This is actually a site that I saw on Whatnot, and Blue had known about them. They're part of Spidey Hits and a lot of that community and stuff that he checks out. And I was like, you know what? We should watch one of his streams. The guy was really nice. Everyone that was over there was really nice. And they were offering character breaks. And we were like, well, Blue was doing that with North of Seven cards. And I thought, well, let's do that ourselves and get in on the action and try to get some of these other characters from the awesome Marvel Masterpiece XL series that we wanted. We wanted to do the monsters. That was kind of Blue's idea. It was like, you know, we don't have to buy this whole set. I'm not going to get that crazy into it. But I would really like to get like the Universal Monsters, but the Marvel versions. And I was like, okay, well, who is that to you? And he's like, well, obviously Moon Knight's the mummy. And Frankenstein's monster is Frankenstein's monster. He goes, but Dracula is kind of like Blade or Morbius. So luckily there's a Blade in the set. And he was like, there's also Invisible Man type, you know, characters. Like that's what he calls Ghost Rider. It's kind of the Marvel version in a way of that because his you know, flesh is gone and you can see his skull, even though that's not what Invisible Man does. But I, I could tell he's reaching a little bit, but I see what he's going for. And uh, he just wanted to include Ghost Rider, I think. But then also like Creature of the Black Lagoon, Man Thing and all that. So this is just something he wanted to do. And I wanted to help out because these cards are so gorgeous with this Joe Jesco artwork on it. And so we bid on some character breaks and one of them went really high. The Moon Knight one went pretty high and we ended up only getting two Moon Knight cards. And what I really loved about Paper Heroes was that they thought I would have been fine with the value. I was like, hey, 20 bucks a card? Like, hey, it's Moon Knight. Like, we, I, I, that sounds like something we would pay for a Moon Knight card. But they were like, oh, we still want to give you a little bit of value. So they threw in these two extra cards here with Marvel Girl and Magneto from the Platinum series just as like, uh, hey, man, like here's something extra because you got two cards. But they did not have to do that. I'm, that was super nice of them that they did that. These are both numbered cards, 109 out of 199 and 217 out of 399. So that's just so fantastic. And these are great characters. So we're going to hang on to these for a while because they're gifts. And I don't like to get rid of gifts when people send them to us. So these cards are some of the ones we got. These are not all of them because we actually already framed some of these or blue did. He, he couldn't wait. So we actually have this Ghost Rider and a gold numbered Ghost Rider. Um, but we also have the What If variant and parallel of it. So that is already framed on the wall with the lettering and everything behind it. Just blue. He loved that one. I really loved it too. So he put it on the wall with the other monsters that we're building over there. So really awesome. So we got this one is numbered 903 at a one, uh, 1499. Sorry. So yeah, that's really cool to have a numbered one and a regular one and the what if one. So in that pool, I think it was like 20 bucks we bid for the character. We got three cards, which is outstanding. Uh, for Moon Knight, we bid, I think, around 40 or $45, and we got two cards. And these are the two here, but that's okay because we got one of each. And like I said, I would have been totally happy with just having these two and, and nothing else. And the fact that they threw these platinum cards in was really cool of them. So, yeah, please check them out. I'm going to put a link down below to their channels, to everything. Definitely support the Paper Hero guys. They are amazing. I had a fun time watching their show. So we got Moon Knight in the regular base and the Moon Knight What If. So this is what a What If looks like. And it features the lettering and everything of the first issue Moon Knight ever appeared in, which is Werewolf by Night number 32. And then lastly, we got Man-Thing from Paper Heroes. So these are the three character breaks we did. I think Man-Thing was under $20. I can't remember actually what the price was on it. But we got three of them. We got two of the base and we got one of the What Ifs. And I think the other base we have was a gold number one also. So uh, again, uh, on they were doing 12 box breaks. So on average, unless you got a level five character, um, you, on average, you would get at least two or three cards out of a 12 box case. So I thought the the value was there. The, the community was great. I had fun being in the chat, talking to people, encouraging people. That's something Blue really loves doing. And it's something like it's sometimes a little too social for me. Like I, I, I can... Um, burn out on doing stuff like that sometimes because I am like, oh, I got to work on other stuff. I got to edit. I got to do these things. But Blue could spend hours in people's chats, supporting them, pushing them, telling them they're doing a great job, you know, wishing them luck. Like he's amazing at it. I'm trying to take a page from his book. So that's what I was doing when I was in Paper Heroes and I was having a good time. So thank you guys. You know, I just want to give them a big shout out. And they also do like really cool giveaways too while you're watching their streams. And we actually won one of the giveaways and this is a graded chameleon jambalaya, and it's our first one. We've never actually hit a jambalaya card or jambalaya, however you want to say it. Never actually hit one of these. So to get one with chameleon, which is a character we really like, we if you don't remember, on the Venom vlog, we talked about it years ago, where we at one point when we were working at Sony, we were trying to get a script that we wrote for Spider-Man 4 back when Sam Raimi had just finished Spider-Man 3. We were trying to get a Spider-Man 4 script read by people, and we worked it out, me and two friends of mine. 
And uh, we wrote it and we talked about that and I found the script post aneurysm and the notes that came with it, you know, about James and Ben who wrote it with me. And it was a cool story to read and, and to see that we were probably not close to getting it made, but at least like making the effort and being there at Sony trying to push to get it made and to get our script read. But ours had the chameleon in it as one of the villains, along with uh, the you know, Craven the Hunter, obviously, and the lizard. So uh, this was cool to get chameleon. It just kind of made me think of that story um, from our past. So uh, again, winning a giveaway also. So these guys are amazing. Putting a link down below. Go check them out. They're awesome. And thanks so much. Let me know. Have you ever got into a character break before? If you have, what characters do you collect? I'd love to hear yours down below. And what characters did you buy from this set if you only went for specific characters or did you go for a whole base set? I'd love to hear it. Talk down below.